Hey everybody. everybody. This is the July update. And by the time this video will be going and heading to Alabama to work on the camp and work on the barn. So say a little prayer, prayer for us so we're going down the road. And maybe say a little prayer for us while we sit out here in the heat that the gnats don't drag us off. Is this tough here? Uh, what we want to talk to you about tonight, we'll update you a little bit on what we did since last video. We've uh, pulled stumps and roots and did some earthwork for the foundation to the back of the vampire barn. So when we get back, we can start the foundation on it. And got a couple volunteers we're trying to line up to come in and help us go ahead and erect it and get it dried in. But. <sighs> We may add a couple pictures at the end of the video, but what we want to talk, talk to you about tonight, since it kind of goes along with everything that's going on in the world, is a uh, is about love. We want to talk to you about love, and and we don't have enough time tonight to talk about Eli's love life, so we'll just we'll just go with the love of Christ and and what that means to us. What do you think of when when you uh, hear the love of Christ, Eli? Hi. Jesus died on the cross for us and rose again, and He loves us. He loves us very much. He, he, he died for us, and that—that's His love. He, He dies and rose again. Yep, for our sin and our place. You're right. So, and this—this this is something I've dug into a little bit. Love, you know, and, and it's really there's there's two kind of loves. The love that most most people are going to equate to, and you know what they're going to relate to, is a feeling, and that's that's just not uh, the love of Christ is is not a feeling, and it's a choice. I mean, if you go to the Greek word, that's pretty much what it means, and so like if if you don't if you don't have the Holy Spirit inside you, then you you can't show the love of Christ to somebody else because you, you don't know you don't know that you don't know that love so first of all you have to have the Holy Spirit inside you once you've accepted Christ and the spirits indwelt you then then you know that love and then you can share that love and and what I mean by it's a choice you know it's a choice to be kind it's a choice to sacrifice because Christ made that choice to sacrifice and he was definitely most kind to people. And so to consider somebody else's needs above your own. And that may a lot of times that may be your enemy or, or somebody that you just don't want to love. It can, you know, that but you have to make that conscious choice and that's I think that love, that's the fruit of the spirit. That's what I mean, that's that love of Christ pouring out of you. It's, I think that that sums up the fruit of the spirit right there. So for example, we're choosing to love against the feeling of love. Okay, your family, you love your family as a non-believer. You know that love. If you, if you love love your family, it's a feeling. It's something you feel inside. And uh, that's something that God built into us. And you can fall, fall in love with, with your wife and get married. You have that feeling. You, you know, the, those butterflies inside, you have that feeling of love. But then... You have this guy that comes through. This is where the choice of love is. You have this guy that cuts you off in traffic. We've seen that a bunch of times on the on the road, haven't we, Eli? We have. I mean, may even try to run you off the road. And then the next thing you know, you come down the road and you're on the side of the road with the hood up or the tires blowed out or, or whatnot. Where that choice of love comes in, you choose to love this guy and pull over and help him change his tire or give him the last set of sockets you had on your truck or whatever because you love them. You don't have that feeling of love. If anything, the feelings that might want to come out is not love. But you choose because of the love of Christ. You choose to show the love of Christ. That, that's the fruit of the Spirit right there. Show, showing itself. And Eli has a, a verse on on uh, loving your enemies. But love your enemies, do good, and lend 
hoping for nothing in return. And what verse is that? Luke 6:35. Luke 6:35. And and that's that that goes along with what I'm, what I was saying here, love your enemy. And and if you read the rest of it, it tells you about being rewarded and it's reward enough sometimes to see their their attitude change and see their their heart change in some instances. We've seen seen that on the road too. We've had homeowners that didn't know Christ, and when you get in there and they really it's, they feel entitled, even though you're fixing their house for free, they feel like they should have granite instead of formica. And I mean, it's just they get ugly with you. They start cussing volunteers, and and they're just very hard people because they've come from. A lot of times a hard background, you know, varies, but, and then before you know it, they keep seeing that love pour out, and even though they're up being ugly with you and upset with you, you smile back at them, you love on them daily, and the next thing you know, they've accepted Christ into their heart, and you have a new brother or sister right there standing before you, and that, that's the reward I look for, is my family growing, and we hope you do too. We thank you guys and we love you guys. Continue to pray for us. We love you. Bye.